What's going on guys? My name is Zach and welcome back to tutorial for Unity 3D. And today for this episode, I'm going to show you how you can make a endless road generator. So you can spawn endless road with random uh, type of tile or road that you want to make. So you can implement this on your endless runner road or on endless learning game. Or maybe you can, if you want to make something like a crossy road game or whatever you want and uh, so let's get into it so we make it from scratch so you can see just I just opened a new project and then first thing first I would like to create some folder so here is a scrape folder and then we're going to create a material folder I guess yeah 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 we need a material because you want to make a uh, different kind of road that can spawn the scene so the last thing is prefab. This is very important because we're going to save our root prefab here because we want to in instantiate it when it runs time. So we have three and then let's get into it. So for this um, project, I would like to choose a cube as our root. Oh no, I think maybe you can use a plane. It's much more better. So you can see right there, we have a plane and that just adjust the direction I like so you can see there and uh, maybe we can move the camera a little bit upward and rotate it like this like this uh, yeah okay doesn't matter what it is so we have right there and uh, the next thing is we want to make it uh, so the idea is we want to make it spawn uh, forward so spawn like this when we start the game, we want it going like this. It's going to spawn random, 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 like that. So how are we going to do that? It's very simple actually. So since we have a plane right here, I think we need to put a texture for different kind of plane. So let's copy some uh, plane. So we have two plane, and then we are going to need a material. So we just create a material. Let's say this one is red. And then just adjust the color into red. The next going to be a material for blue. And then we're going to pick a blue right there. And then last but not least, we have a uh, green. So material green. And just put this into green. Yeah. So the first plane, we're going to put it blue. Second, we have green, and the third one is red. So we have three kind of plane that have different color. So open the prefab folder and drag one of these into the prefab folder. So we have red, blue, green, and red. And then we're going to delete the other two, so leave it this as one. So make sure the transform is zero zero zero. If don't, just reset like that. So since we have this thing, so this is going to be our start position. So now we're going to the script that can work for uh, generate endless style. So go to C sharp script, call it as road generator, road gen, and then we're going to open it into our um, IDE. I choose a model envelope because my PC is not very good performance for Visual Studio but if you want to use a Visual Studio it's up to you so we have road gen script so we didn't need this start because we're going to update it um, every time we start a game because we want to make it endless style so yeah the first thing first I guess we need to put uh, the a variable for our prefab so in this case, I'm going to use a, um, well, call that an array of a prefab. So just put a public uh, game object, and then we put an array, and we call this as prefab, prefabs, road. So this is used for uh, holding our different type, oh, sorry about that. So this variable going to, uh, whole various type of uh, roads in this case we have three roads 
And then for the update, we need to put, uh, we're going to make uh, the tiles spawn randomly. But before that, the idea is we want to make uh, the tile instantiate one step uh, from the original distance. So in this case, if you see right here, we have original position. But when I duplicate this thing and move it a little bit, so it will take the change on the X and the Z axis. So I guess it is 10. So it it depends on your road size. You can you're going to measure it by yourself. So in this case, it's 10 is a perfect uh, distance to instantiate the next tile. So we know that the Z axis is going to instantiate 10. We're going to declare a uh, integer next step because we're going to update the value of this next step into this update function. So we have into the next step. The next thing is we're going to make a instantiate uh, function because we want to instantiate our prefab road into the scene. So instantiate, we have three variables. The first variable is for our prefab. So since we have an array of prefab, so we're just going to use like this prefab road and we're going to randomize the index uh, number. So just random the range. Here we start with zero and end up with the uh, prefab road dot uh, length. Yeah, dot length. And then this will make the prefab spawn randomly. And then the next parameter parameter is the target of the position. So since we didn't use the x and y axis to transform it forward, we're going to declare new vector tree the original position so uh, our start position is our first prefab so declare the transform public uh, public transform start position so the start position is the first tile which is the blue one uh, this one okay so we didn't change anything on the uh, x and y, so we just put start position dot transform dot uh, x. I guess no transport dot position. Yeah, position dot x, and then start pose dot position dot y, and then transform dot position dot z, and we're going to add this. Uh, to the next step <clears throat> so just next step and then the last is parameter is quaternion dot identity simple as that and then this will make the prefab uh, spawn endlessly but we didn't declare the next step uh, value so if we didn't make an update on the next step uh, value it will remain as zero so it will spawn on the same place to make it spawn to the forward we're just going to put the next step equal to plus equal i mean plus equal to 10 because we want to move it 10 step forward it's actually according what size of your tile but in this case it's a 10. so i think we'll have done and then we back into our unity editor so we're going to create um something let's see okay no error good so we just create and create empty game object as our game manager so just drag our script right there so it will ask you to put the start position of course we have a first plane and then the prefab road size so to do that just going to go to the prefab folder and then drag all of this uh, tile into the prefab road so we have three all together now that is it when you hit play boom it will generate endlessly you can see that endless road you can see it. see that so that is it, guys this is how you're going to create the random road generator i hope you understand what i'm going to uh, what i have I teach you right here is actually very straightforward 
and then if you have anything to ask please let me know and maybe if i have a free time i, I, I will help try to help you as i can so that's all for this episode i hope you like it and then if you don't have time to copy this uh, script i will provide all the package in the description below and uh, yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe see you next time bye bye